I, I think we're know. both on drugs. I don't. I didn't know that you nip. But I was on drugs. Okay. Well, hold on. Before you gather all these things, let me write the start time, and then we'll come back. What are you doing? I gotta get away. I he's gonna. He's gonna, gonna hit me. Bodysuit, Chris Evans. Das wieder den everyone. What does that mean? D nothing. Doesn't mean anything? I don't think it does. Why did you go out? Oh, because you have a key now, that's why. Yeah. Sweet, now you can go in that big door that has the chains <laughs> hover. So anyway, I, I think it's silly to push people in front of trades. I think it's silly also. But... So if you push the fat guy in front of the train, it stops the train, it saves who? Five people. Does it matter who they are? Like, what if it's Barack Obama, Joe Biden... Uh, if it was Chris Evans, I'd do Tracy it. Tracy Morgan, Chris Evans, I'm kidding, and I'm and a, a small child in a box. <laughs> yeah. If it was five Chris Evans. Five Chris Evanses, and you get to keep four of them if you save oh them. Then it's ethical to to keep them, right, or just kill the guy, right? Oh, totally. What if the one guy in, who's gonna be pushed in front of the train is Chris Evans, but the people who would die are like. Uh, Lee Lee Pace, uh, that guy who plays Loki in that movie, me, uh, who else do you think is nice? Like my parents? Yeah, me and your parents. What if it's those five? But Chris, you have to push Chris Evans in front of the train. <laughs> if I save Chris Evans, would he marry me? If you didn't push Chris Evans, he would marry you. But. I would die, your parents would die, Lee Pace would die, and Loki would die. But you also wouldn't have to, you wouldn't be accused of murder because you wouldn't have pushed anyone in front of a train. So you would just be complacent. So I would get... I'd be a murderer if... Well, some people would say, you murdered Chris Evans! Yeah, un undoubtedly, some people would say that. Yeah. Wow, that looks weird. It does look weird. Show me the light. No. So what would you do? I cannot believe you're thinking about this. Well, obviously I'd save my family and stuff. Even though you'd have to push Chris Evans and be a murderer. Why can't I just... Who the hell is this? That's Chris Evans in a bodysuit. Would you buy a Chris Evans blow-up doll? Yes. How realistic would it have to be? It'd have to be AI. Oh, okay. It'd have to be, like, perfect. Yeah. I'd buy a Chris Evans blow-up doll at that rate. Who wouldn't? Yeah, right? you have to be crazy. How are you... What is that? Oh, I, I gotta show the light. Show me the light. Uh, so that means I gotta do something there. <laughs> How are you gonna do it? Like that. <laughs> I don't think that's strong enough. Uh... Can I do this? Interesting. Interesting choice. <laughs> Oop. Oh no! Ah! I like that. I set it down. Hold on, I'm gonna I'm gonna be a sacrifice. That nope. didn't work. Not high enough. Uh, can I? Wait. Oh shit! I should have done this differently. Oh no. Uh, Wait. What are you doing? I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm trying to get out of the fucking menu. Hold on. Here. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> you think this is like Wind Waker, where you can grab a bomb and swirl yeah. it towards some Twilight Princess or whatever? No, no, no. Gosh, how are you gonna get a bomb up there? Who the heck? It's Chris Evans in a bodysuit. We talked about this. You know oh, what? we're supposed to be naming the episodes as we go. We're idiots. Um, What's the first one called? I, but you know, honestly, like my selfish asshole self was like called drugs. A selfish asshole self was like, you know what? I think my family would be fine if what? I let them die. What about so me? I, man, you. You would be fine too. I'd be dead if that. I mean, I wouldn't be able <laughs> exactly. to. Exactly. I certainly wouldn't be not fine. Yeah. But Chris Evans would be dead too. He'd be fine. But. But, but then, then you I'd wouldn't be, be fine. But then I'd be. Are you saying you'd be fine if all those people died? You'd no. be like, ah, move on with life. Married to no, Chris no, Evans, no, things no. are fine. No, I'd be depressed. You know, I'm just only saying this because I'm really. You like Chris Evans more than you like any of the people I mentioned. I just, no, I and just... you've never fucking met him. <laughs> what the fuck? Jeez, uh, you're so serious. <laughs> Congratulations. You're so serious. You did it. I pushed you in front of a train. 
just for nothing, I just do it. You're so mean. Look at this. You said that's, that. that's my that's face. That's my face when. Oh, well, I guess it's your face. You said it first. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> I'm just kidding. God. Well, you do you think Metro that. Android's logic is good or bad? About pushing people? Yeah, because he says it was their fate to die, so if you mess up their fate, you're murdering someone. I'd rather stop the fate. Oops. Right, but also fate isn't real. So, because he's just a, it's a rock. Like the idea that they were supposed to die. Like, what do you mean supposed to die? That's like, a false premise. Like, what does that even oh, mean? Oh well, everybody has a destiny. If you die, it's but like. But that, that's the... not also not true. Yeah. So the whole premise for that is stupid. Yeah, I don't know. You know, how, like some people are like, oh well, maybe it was like, right. like you know, it's like oh, you go back in time and you try to save the person, but. Uh, like, you can't because, like, every reality that you go back, he's, he's... <laughs> you really get distracted <laughs> by pointy, fake rock boobs? No, not, not boobs, but I'm just kind of, I didn't notice this was in here. Oh, this giant statue? I didn't notice this was here. Yeah, but it is. Oh. It's amazing, right? Wow. Who built that? Um, definitely not me. <laughs> I certainly didn't build it. I would remember building something like that. <laughs> unless I was very, very much on methamphetamines. Excuse me, Mr. Rockman. Yeah. Anyway, so I think it's silly to be like, well, they were meant to die, so... And that guy wasn't meant to die. Like, what the fuck do you mean, meant to die? He wasn't meant... No one's meant to die. Mm -hmm. There is no meant to die, not meant to die. It's just that you, maybe you'll die and maybe you won't. Maybe their fate was to be saved by you. Yeah. Why couldn't you argue that, then? Yeah. Oh, their fate is... Because that's like being like, you're interfering with fate. What if you are the fate? You are the fate. Yeah. That's, that, that's our band a... name, by the way. <laughs> you are the fate. You are the fate. Oh, I was thinking more <laughs> like... Uh... <laughs> you are the fate. <laughs> It'd be like that kind of music. We can also do, we can add dungs in there too if you want. <laughs> dung, dung, da, no, da, that, dung, no, that God! <laughs> that was God? The gods in our band too. Oh, that was supposed to be. What was it? Oh, it was like chunky uh, guitar, yeah, chung, bass and stuff. Chung, 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 chung. Yeah, okay. Do you yeah. want to sing your part and then I'll sing the drums? Sure. <laughs> Why are all them? That's that's the other part of the song. That part comes later. Don't sing it yet. That part's later. Uh, so yeah, that doesn't make any sense. I'm supposed to climb. Sky, how am I supposed to climb? Can I climb? Oh. <gasps> what are you gonna do? I can climb so very high and touch the sky. So, anyway, the point is we're in agreement that the fate argument doesn't make any sense. Yeah, are we actually, or are you just like saying no, that? No, no, I agree you don't because you can change the, you can change destiny and nobody there is knows. no, but no, but the point is there is no destiny. Yeah, exactly. Like, how are you supposed to know if there's destiny right. or not? Again, if the so you can change it if there is, but there isn't. Okay, I think we're kind of on the same page. Yeah, we are. But what the, the fuck? We're on the same Which page. Which is the one that opened? I the thought that was... one up there. No, the one up there opened. What? It opened here. I'll show you. Climb up the steps. There. Climb up the wall of cheeses. <laughs> it's up. And then you go up and up and up and up and up and up and up. <laughs> up that way. Over that way. <laughs> and take a right. <laughs> or the left. The left. That's the one that opened. <laughs> and you're going to go up these steps. Or did you come from here? I don't think I did. I don't remember coming down any steps like this, so don't even... Yeah, uh, this is new. Uh-oh. We haven't been here before. Oh, no. This okay, is great. Don't worry about it. Confusing. Oh, no. I think we, that counts as successfully answering Metro Android's question. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Not one of these guys. Again. Oh, my goodness. I'm seeing the sun. I think someone needs to see the light. That oh. thing is gonna kill you, yeah. You remember those guys. You were scared of those guys in Dodongo's cavern. So anyway, oh. we did Metro Android's question. We've addressed how that's silly. Uh, now we're gonna go on to... Oh boy, Metro Android's got more responses to our philosophy. Oh no. I was just not in the mood for this, but we're gonna do it. So, he's referring to the fact we had this discussion where you were like, you feel bad when you can't say your favorite things because that means you feel like you don't know yourself, kind yeah. of, or like you feel like you don't exist. Yeah. And, and I said, who you are is not defined by external phenomena, mm -hmm. uh, right? Or that's We were talking about that general subject. So he quotes me and says, who you are is not defined by external phenomena. Then he replies, here's the reply. Are you listening? Yes. Okay, I mean, we both need to listen because I'm going to forget too. Okay, I'm going to stop. So 
If you put a hundred people in blank rooms their whole lives with no interaction, they would all turn out radically different, he asks. I mean, forget nature versus nurture, it's neither. It's all inside. You know in the past few thousand years our brains have evolved almost not at all. Yet our entire way of thinking and how we define ourselves has evolved due to cultural evolution. I mean, that statement is just so wrong in so many ways. Another example, music you like even if you've heard that you don't like has a gigantic... <laughs> I lost it halfway through, I'm sorry. I, yeah, my brain <laughs> I, I don't, I'm so confused. Okay, wait. Who you are is not defined by external phenomena. I think that's what I said. Because yeah. that sounds like something I would say. Maybe. It might be. You, like, I can't stop like, it. who you are is separate from external phenomena. But he says it's all inside. That's what I was saying. But then he also said I'm wrong. Mm -hmm. What is he... What is this? Maybe saying that even if you're stuck in, like, a box with nothing, you still will develop a personality. Maybe. But probably not, though. Because you wouldn't have anyone to learn English from or, like, just get anything. Yeah. Right. Stop but, like... There. Okay. I don't know how to respond yeah. to this. I'm very confused, so... Another example, music you like, even music you've heard that you don't like, has a gigantic influence on music you create, whether you want it to or not. Right. I'm confused. What did I say? Um... What were we talking about that is a problem? Do you remember? No. Okay, I don't remember either. So, do you think who you are is defined by external... Who are you? How do you define who someone is? Likes. Is who you are defined by your actions? Dislikes. Actions. Likes and dislikes? Actions. Actions? Uh, I don't want to talk about this. I can't do this right now. My brain is already dead. No, I, I quit. I quit on that subject. We're going to go on to Pablo Borges. Hello, Pablo. Pablo Borges. Borges. Listener question. I like calling him Borges. Borges. Okay. Borges. Uh, Pablo says, listen to question. What is your opinion about DLCs and microtransactions in video games? Have you ever bought a microtransaction in a video game? Oh my god, I buy it all the time in Guild Wars. Are you oh, that's me? right. God, I hate it. I can't stop. You also stop. watched it in Counter Strike, which is yeah, weird. I can't fucking stop. Why not? Because I just want them so bad. Why do you want so? Because I love character customizations. If that means I can. But then customize they make you pay my... for it. Yeah. Do you think it's mean to make you pay for it? Maybe. No, I oh think no. you can kill those guys with bombs, can't you? You can't pull it that way. Right? I don't know. Okay, well, we're, I guess we're not going to worry about it. Little by little. Now you can climb up and just hop over. It's fine. Just climb. Yeah, climb. There you go. I do everything the cheater! Whoa. <laughs> it worked. Do you see how fucking far I went? Yep. Now the thing is on. Which is great. So, the thing about microtransactions is they're bad when they, like... Are trying to be like drugs, mm. which is what happened to Aisha. <laughs> is when microtransactions are like, like you can just not buy them, but also There's they're a like fucking other thing. No, like, they're like drugs, <laughs> and you're dead. Why did I do that? I don't know. You got fairy, so you're fine. Yeah, that's probably my last fairy. Uh, I think you got one more, cause you got three, right? I'm gonna die. And now you've used two. Wait. Did I get all the light bulbs? Oh no, why did that one go off? You gotta get them all in one fell swoop. What? I know, it's ridiculous. So find where- is there just two? Huh. I thought there were more than two. There's one. Two, three. There's three. Two, three. Okay. Ready, go. Oh. <laughs> okay, here we go. One. Mm, where's the other one? Two? I thought there were three. Where's the, where's the third one? There it is. And where's the old one again? No? What the goddamn frick? There it is. Get it! Oh god, I'm such a crackhead! <laughs> <laughs> I'm such a fucking oh, shit! Oh dear. There you go. Now you just gotta get that one over there. Wow, this thing is lasting a long time. Get it! And then get the other one again. There we go. Finally. Oh my god! You're gonna get, Whoa! Yeah, you're gonna get poked in the butt by that blue <laughs> thing. Yeah, that stick did last for a long time. What was the point of that? A, a box came down from the sky. Ooh, where? It has a kid in it. That's okay. Take care of him. His name is Johnny. I adopted him from a grocery store parking lot. Isn't it funny when 
people are I don't know. Congratulations. <sighs> so many philosophical questions I can't even do it. You know, my brain is too slow for stuff like that. Well, you've been really, really, really sick. Yeah. So we forgive you. I'm a sick dog. Sick as a dag. Sick as a dig. Sick as a dig. <laughs> sick as a dig. <laughs> sick as a dig. Oh, this is one of my favorite enemies in the game. Oh, no. oh I hope you're excited. Wait, don't fight him yet. I wanna see if we got time. Like what? What? Did, when did we start here? Start to. All right, we're gonna stop and come back, and then you'll fight this crazy guy. These episodes are going pretty quick. 